guys, my name is Sari and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the sixth episode of my knitting podcast and today I'm going to be talking about my recent trip to Berlin. As I told you in my previous episode, um, we went to Berlin for a couple of days last week. Um, we landed there on Wednesday and then we left on early Saturday morning. So we only had two full days and one one half day to spend there. And I had been thinking about like dividing yarn soaps like one one shop per day. So I was planning to go to Yarn Over Berlin on Wednesday, to Feiern Insen on Thursday and then the Wollen Berlin on Friday. But it turned out that the same as here in Finland, the Germans had a public holiday on Thursday, so everything was closed and I had to uh, read time everything I had planned. So I went to Wollen Berlin first thing on Wednesday when we landed. Um, I have been to Wollen Berlin before on my previous trip and it's my favorite yarn shop in Berlin, but it's a bit out of the way. Uh, Berlin doesn't really have this the same kind of like little centrum as many other big European cities have, so that everything is in walking distance. But instead, the whole area of Berlin is really large, and it takes quite a lot of time to travel from one end of Berlin until the other side of Berlin. And Wollen Berlin, it's in Friedrichstein and there aren't that many uh, things. Here's Luna, always here behind me. So it's in Friedrichstein and like I said, there's not so much other things to see in that neighborhood. like tourist-wise, I would say. So you really have to like plan your trip there. You just don't like stumble upon it. But it's it's worth worth the detour. And there are really nice cafes around that neighborhood as well. So you you can really spend time time there. And for me um like I said earlier, Wollen Berlin is my favorite yarn shop in in Berlin. And before we went there, I had already planned a bit what I wanted to buy. And I wanted to buy their linen yarn. So it's this Linamuka yarn. It's their, their own brand. And uh, it's like a Lithuanian linen, 100%, and it has 245 meters per 50 grams. So this is what I came here for, this um, linen yarn, this one. And I'm going to use it for uh, a top, small top. This one is my favorite color, but I want something else as well. Gorgeous colors, and they have made these little samples, so it's very nice to see how the yarn is like. It's really soft, even though it's made of linen. Just trying to decide what to choose, which one. Which one is better for my skin tone? And I didn't know which color to pick. They have so many, so many lovely colors. So I took this lovely golden brown color and then this uh, forest, forest green. And I'm going to use them for a couple of summer tops. I haven't decided yet whether I want to use it like 
with just a single strand to make a, a really lightweight top or hold it double to make a bit, bit a sturdier fabric. But I, I have to start swatching and see how it looks and, and then decide what, what I'm going to do with it. Uh, other things I bought from Wollen Berlin. I bought this end from uh, which is Icelandic yarn and uh, Thai silk held together. So show a bit closer. Also this lovely green shade you can probably by now guess which color is my favorite. And it has uh, this strand of um, silk yarn which is almost like very pale pink applied into it so it's really nice and I'm going to use this for a lightweight sweater for myself for next fall something really minimalistic and simple as I think this yarn itself is so beautiful that I don't want to take anything away from it by making a, a really complicated intricate fabric so probably just really simple stocking it knit sweater but I, I really I really really like this color and also I bought uh, this I've been eyeing this yarn online for a while now and I have seen that many designers have lately been using it for their designs so I really wanted to try it for myself um, but I only bought this one one skein this time and I will be knitting this into uh, a hat for myself to see how the yarn feels and uh, what its character characteristics are. They also have um, a colorway that is this really dark um, caramel color that I really love and I want to use it for something but but this this is also nice like light salmon pink so this is going to be a hat hat for myself later this year and one more thing that I bought from Wollen Berlin not this project bag this is an older one but you can see here this sheep pin. It's their logo, Wollum Berlin logo. Really nice, cute. Cute pin, I like it. And I think it goes really well with this little collection I have going on on my bag. Here you can see what I have on my bag. So that's what I bought from Wollen Berlin and as I said already <laughs> earlier it's my favorite yarn shop in Berlin and if you are planning a visit to, to Berlin uh, you really have to go there. Even though it is a bit, a bit out of way I really recommend it. They carry um, a lot of like local yarns that you don't really get anywhere else such as Hey Mama Wolf and Rosy Green Wool that I don't think you can buy anywhere here in Finland at least. So I like buying a local yarn when I go and visit visit uh, other countries and do touristry, touristry stuff. So Wollen Berlin uh, was my first visit um, of the trip. Very happy. <laughs>
later in the same day, so on Wednesday, uh, I had arranged to meet with uh, Verena and Hanna Lisa from Making Stories, and it was really nice to finally meet them. I've been following them both on Instagram, like on their separate uh, own accounts, as well as the Making Stories account for already quite a long time and it was really nice to finally meet them in person so we went to have a coffee in the evening and it was very nice to chat with them and talk um, we talked a lot about patterns and pattern pricing and it was really nice to get to know them uh, as I've been working for them in the past and I hopefully also in the future. So it's always nice to have a personal connection with the people you interact online instead of just like sending emails without ever meeting, meeting people. So it was really nice. And they gifted me with their latest book. Uh, this is the second book book in the Making Stories series and it has just come out. I think it, um, when we were in Berlin it was less than a week old publication. So um, this is their second book, Breeze, such a gorgeous collection of patterns. Um, show you quickly. Summary, tops. nice everything can't wait to cast on for a project from here and I got their autographs also on my book so that's that's nice this is the second day in Berlin very nice weather uh, very hot we rented bikes and we we drove them to Tebelhof Airport, which is a closed airport where you can um, run and have a picnic and ride bikes. So, some sun and meeting for me over there. Now we are going for coffee and more meeting. <laughs> and like I said, the second day of our visit, the Thursday, it was a bank holiday, so everything was closed, and actually, it was a good thing. So, when all the shops were closed, there was really nothing that we could do. So, we actually got to relax a bit. Otherwise, I think we would have been very busy going around here and there and everywhere. But we rented bikes, and they have these quite a lot of places where you can rent bikes and also bikes that you use with an app. So we took one of those and we rode our bicycles to the Tempelhof airport, which is a closed airport in the city centrum area. Uh, I think it closed a couple of years ago and then they had a vote for the Berliners to decide what they want to do with the area. and. The general idea was to keep it as it is and open it up for a park. So there were a lot of people just riding their bikes and joking and rollerblading on the airstrips and having picnics in the, in the grassy areas around it. And it was a very hot day, probably something like closer to um, 30 degrees Celsius, so uh, the, the Tempelhof area was really nice because it's, it was so like flat and almost no trees and long airstrips, so there was a, a, a bit of breeze there, so it didn't feel that hot. So it, it's, it's another place that uh, it's worth a visit if you happen to be in Berlin, especially if you're there in the summertime, it was really fun to get to ride a bike uh, along the airstrip, a bit surreal feeling. And after that we went for a coffee and then for a couple of beers um, in a beer garden behind the museum island uh, along the river Spree. So that was our 
Thursday. It's such a lovely sunny sunny day. A lot of balcony knitting and coffee coffee knitting and and just biking around sunshine. Like very much like a holiday. Um, in the evening there was a really big thunderstorm so that wasn't that fun. And then on Friday the weather turned a bit colder so um, we didn't get to sit around in the park as much as I would have wanted to. We went for a brunch in the morning in Prenzlauerberg area and then we had booked a, a tour, tour um, like a guided tour in the Samlung Boros, uh, which is a modern art collection, private collection, that is situated in a, a Second World War era bunker. So if you happen to be in Berlin, that's something that I really recommend. It was, um, first of all, the, the, the building was worth seeing and the history of the building was really interesting and also the art collection was I think it was really good and the guide that we had she was amazing I, I really enjoyed the tour and she um, guided it really well we stayed in the Mitte area because the Samhung Boros is situated there and also in just um, a, a matter of a few blocks there are at least three different yarn stores there might be even more but I found three so I was on my way to Wallen Berlin and we found two two other yarn stores on our way there uh, one of them was Knit Knit uh, which carries yarns such as um, Wool and the Gang, and also um, Wool Folk. And I really liked everything they had, but I didn't buy anything there. Uh, I'm trying to uh, diminish my stash of yarn and only buy yarn for a project that um, I have decided beforehand. So, um, as I told you, I had beforehand decided to go to Wallen Berlin and Yarn Over Berlin so I had looked through their websites and decided beforehand what I wanted to buy so when I went to to the Knit Knit place um, even though they had really nice yarns I didn't want to buy anything like just one skein of this and one skein of that instead I want to be more mindful about my my purchases um, but the, it was a really lovely little yarn shop and they have um, a quite different selection of yarns compared to other shops in Berlin so it's also worth a visit then we went to Yarn Over Berlin which I think has the uh, most luxurious selection of yarns, uh, at least of the shops that I have visited in in Berlin. Uh, they carry, for example, Madeleine Tosh. They have a wide selection of Madeleine Tosh yarns and and also Brooklyn Tweed, Snail Yarn, um, Labine Amy, for example. And amazing, amazing selection, I must say. Especially the Madeleine Tosh wall was beautiful. And I would have wanted to buy everything. But I had uh, beforehand decided that I want to buy something that is hand painted and mohair. So uh, this is what I bought, these three skins. I have already caked them and maybe in the next episode you will get to see what I'm making with this. But this is uh, from Snail Yarn and this is their Mohair Silk Base. Three colors of it. This 
this is paprika and basalt and I can't remember pebbles I think was the name of this one but such uh, lovely soft skeins but they they really carry amazing yarns and the central it, it's very centrally situated so only a walk from the Alexanderplatz and right next to Museum Island so very close to all the sites so definitely worth a visit also uh, when we were walking from Janov Berlin towards Mitnit we noticed that there was this little um, yarn shop in this inner courtyard called Herr U so Mr. U you could say um, and it, it's probably one of the traditional yarn shops or more traditional ones in Berlin and they carry like lung for example in their selection also they had Einroom and Zilana so they also have very nice yarns but it's the same as with our visit to knit knit that I didn't want to buy anything because I hadn't planned buying anything from there so um, I think I have shown you all my shopping from Berlin now and maybe here at the end I can show you what I was knitting in Berlin not just buying more yarn but uh, I've been showing this hat to you already a couple of times this is the top-down hat and it's now finally finished I finished it in in Berlin and it looks like this very relaxed easygoing ripped hat and I really really like it and I'm going to write the pattern for this one sometime in the future the weather here in Finland has been phenomenal and we have spent more time outside than on the inside so I'm waiting for those um, gray and rainy days to sit on the computer I don't want to waste these amazingly sunny days to writing patterns I will I want to rather sit outside and enjoy myself but like I said this is now finished also um, here is the Annabel Williams hat that I already talked about in my previous episode I showed you this little swatch I had made earlier and this is knitted with Annabel Williams um, organic Falkland Merino it's DK weight and it's naturally dyed yarn and here is the finished hat I cast it on for this project on the airplane on our way to Berlin and I actually only finished it today on my lunch break the last few stitches and this is what it looks like so it has these bubbles here at the bottom and then columns of slip stitches as well as these wide fat cables and I really like this especially the color the color is wonderful and I, I really like this design even though I have decided myself and the next thing I'm going to do is to write the pattern for this one and this was a commission to Annabelle Williams yarns and um, it will be available by um, or through her um, newsletter so you can't really buy it anywhere but if you if you get her newsletter then you will get the pattern for free so I hope you like it as much as I do I'm calling it the Queen Bee because of the color and also these little bee-like creatures here at the bottom 
But this is everything I have to show you this time. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Next time I will be showing you what I have on my needles at the moment and also what I am making with these ones. So stay tuned for that. I hope you have enjoyed watching this episode and and if you enjoy my videos I hope you press the subscribe button down there and see you next week. Bye.